You won't believe what this flight crew does to try and keep their Martin PBM Mariner flying boat from sinking. World War II saw some extraordinary flying boat activity, including the JRM Mars, the Short Sunderland, and the iconic PBY Catalina. Flying boats played key roles in both the Pacific Theater and the Atlantic of the Second World War. Their incredible range and payload capacity made them ideal for maritime patrol, supply transport, and air-sea rescue aircraft. Their advantage lay in using water instead of expensive land-based runways. However, that advantage also came with a price. They could not take off or land in rough seas. Case in point, this footage obtained from the U.S. National Archives shows this Martin PBM Mariner attempting to land off the Kwajalein Atoll during World War II. The seas are easily three to five feet, possibly more. Let's take a closer look. In conditions where the waves are less than two feet, the pilot of this JRM Mars float plane pitches back approximately five degrees and contacts the surface of the water at the step in the aircraft's hull. However, in this footage, where the conditions are extremely rough with waves at three to five feet, the pilot pitches back nearly 30 degrees. The left pontoon, forced deep into a high wave, is ripped from the left wing. Without the support of that left float, the aircraft begins listing to the left. The fuel tank in the left wing is most likely ruptured, and fuel begins to rush out, and heavier seawater rushes in. The crew, realizing the danger, scramble out a top hatch and attempt to climb onto the right wing. With the hope of counterbalancing the aircraft onto that right float. Thank you.